Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets all finished up higher last week with beans leading the way to the upside, all currently lower so far this morning. As you know, we've been talking about it for a while here. We've got the planning intentions and quarterly stocks report. So let's grab our whiteboard here and take a look at the estimates one more time before we head into the report. All right, so we went over these on Friday, but we're going to go over them again here real quick. Um, this is planted acres. This is in millions of acres. It's what the trade estimate is. This is what we did in 2013. And then this is March 1 stocks in billions of bushels. And this is where we were for March 1 stocks in 2013. So corn planted acres expected to be down from last year. We did a great job replenishing stocks. Therefore, we don't need to plant as many acres. Expected to come in just over 92.9 million acres versus 95.365 last year. Beans, we need to replenish stocks, so we're planting more acres. Uh, expected to come in around 81.369 million acres versus 76.533 last year. And then wheat, not much change from a year ago. Expected to come in at just over 56 million planted acres versus 56.156 last year. So the stocks is really where the fireworks could come in. Uh, March 1 corn stocks are expected to come in at 7.11 billion bushels versus 5.4 last year. Again, as noted, lower planted acres because we did a really good job increasing stocks uh, this past growing season. You can see that where we were last year versus where we are expected to come in this year for March 1 stocks. Beans, the higher acreage is needed because we're expecting less stocks. That 989 million bushel expectation would be the lowest in 10 years. Last year we were 10 million bushels above that at 998 million bushels. And then for wheat, expected to come in at 1.034 billion bushels versus 1.235 billion last year. So a little lower there as well. So those are the trade estimates for the report. Um, again, if you're on the Grain Analyst website, you can also find those below uh, along with the trade range estimates. That way you can check those out and see what the high and low were for the, uh, the pre-report estimates. And again, that's Grain Analyst Daily Report section below the video. So that's all we've got for this morning. We'll be back this afternoon with the afternoon recap, let you know what the numbers actually were and how the trade reacted to the numbers and how the market closed. So if you've got any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you later this afternoon. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.